Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Tech It Survival. So if you're new to the channel or tool and all that kind of stuff, um, yeah, subscribe, have fun. Uh, yeah, there we go, <laughs> nice informal intro. So um, yeah, since last time I've kind of built up the base a little bit more. Um, I'll give you a show around at the end of the video because I want to kind of, kind of move on with some other stuff at the minute. Um, such as equivalent exchange. So we need some diamonds. Uh, well, I've actually got some diamonds. I've got about 46, I think is how many I've got. But I'm going to build a diamond machine in order to get some more diamonds. Um, also, you'll, yeah, you'll notice that everything's expanded. Everything has expanded. Um, and also we've got some, some sewage from over there. That pond there was sewage. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do today, yeah, build some diamonds. So what we're going to need for that is we're going to be doing some equivalent exchange free, which I haven't done any of. So it's uh, going to be quite interesting. Um, I've also found a bit of a bug with if you, oh, got project workbenches as well. These are awesome. So you can leave the items in the in the kind of crafted state, and uh, if you click on them, they kind of move around. Really easy to uh, make as well, quite cheap. Um, but there is a, like a little bug where if you click on it now, because I've quit the game, it'll not work. Uh, you just plunk down one of the blocks and then you get it. So we've got a calcinator, uh, so it's the free iron. We've got some stone around it, so we're going to need one of them. Uh, we're also going to need an Alduel, Alduel base, whatever. Uh, so lots of iron and a bit of uh, stone. These are pretty cheap, to be fair. Uh, we've also got this inert stone, so this is what we're going to be making. We're going to be making a, well, going to be making a, a minium stone. Uh, so you need some gold for that and some irons. So that's a little bit more expensive. And also we're going to need a glass bell, so that's to top off the algal base, so we need that. So those are the four like base material things we need for equivalent exchange. So we just plonk that one down and plonk that one down. Going to put the glass on top. That completes it, nice and easy. Uh, have we got any wood? Yeah, there we go. We'll add some somewhere. So the first thing we need to do is actually burn up some stuff. So um, what you get is different types of dust, different types of dust do different things. And um, all right, let's start this burning. Basically, the one that we want is minium, which I'll be able to use to make a minium stone. Um, so I'm going to just burn this up. You can put any fuel in there, and after a while, we'll get a minium stone. Um, I'll give you guys a shout when I've got all of them. And there we go. So we've now got minium dust. So I'm going to grab that. And I'm also going to grab my jungle wood planks. I keep on getting them from um, the... what's it called? Those things. Rubber trees. So because I keep on putting them into the, uh, the sawmill thing, which looks deadly. Uh, that kind of... <laughs> I've been using that for... I've been getting a load of jungle planks out of that. Um, right, so what we do with this, you've got fuel on the bottom again. You put the stone in the top and you put the minium dust in the bottom, uh, in the middle even, in the middle part of it. And then that'll cook up, do some little fiery thingies, and all of these eight should disappear and we get a nice stone. There we go. Nice stone. Cool. So what do we actually do with this stone? Uh, we can grab that. Now, actually leave that in there. Let me tell you what. Let's put this in two because we're going to need more minium stones later on. Um, have I got anything to turn anything else into, I guess? Let's go with that. Um, so what we can do... Oh, yeah, this is another thing we're going to make, which is uh, block breakers. There we go. Let's see if this appears. So, uh, yeah, another part. I was going to do something else, but I'll show you guys in a second. So a block breaker. This is something from Mine Factory, which I know we started doing last episode. And um, I've also got a, an auto farm going on downstairs. So not just the oak farm. I've also got a food farm. Um, so... This is block breakers. They're quite expensive, actually. So it's got two Ingar, uh, sorry, one Ingar uh, Invar gear. We've also got two Invar pickaxes on either side of that. So these are pretty expensive, uh, but we're going to be using this for breaking some blocks, as you can imagine. Uh, I actually don't think I've got my other things. No, I don't. Okay, well, we'll go and get those in a second. So yeah, minium stone. What this does is it transmutes materials. Not those, apparently. Let's go and get... Gotta go down here anyway. Um, also, yeah, you'll see this floor's massive. Uh, this floor as well, storage, I've now got um, uh, pipes going in, so I'm, I'm probably going to keep some of this going even when I go onto the ME network. So what we'll do is if we get 16 of these, I'll show you what happens. Make more sense. I also need to grab some snowballs. There we go, snowballs. So if I run up here and shove this into the machine, at least that can be working while we're... Well, I'm talking about how this thing works. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some um, of this uh, dust type stuff. So we're going to get some dust uh, from this blizz powder. There we go. And you can make that in a load of different ways. One of them is blizz rods where you go and find a blizz and you pulverize it. Or you can use the fluid transposer to use your redstone, uh, destabilized redstone, put a snowball in and do that. So that's pretty easy. Uh, but here we go. If we put this in here, 
what we can do is basically every item has an EMC value. So I think it's energy matter conversion value. So cobblestone is one. Four of those make flint, which is equal to four. So you kind of tech up as it were. Um, so there we go. You'll notice the minium stone gets damaged as well. So we've obviously spent a lot of diamonds on it, but um, you know, it's, it's doing pretty good for that. Um, then if we've got these flint, so we've got four of those, that should be 16, but there's a little bug where it's actually 64. There's something I noticed before, like when I was um, trying this out in creative. But yeah, you can get like, clay from it from, for that kind of reason. But you basically can tech stuff up. So what you can do is you can turn lots of little blocks into bigger and better big blocks. So that's kind of cool. So what I need to do now is something I've, of course, forgotten, as I always seem to forget. I need to make this jellied cryophium stuff, which means we need this powder. We need nitre, snowball, and redstone. So we'll go and get that. There we go, get that out there. And I'll go down here. Don't know if I've got any nitre or not. I'm pretty sure I do. There it is, nitre. Um, what else was it? Nitre, snowball, redstone. Yeah, we got loads of redstone. So much so I've had to expand it from here, so I moved that away. And we had them in here, didn't we? There we go. So whatever that thing was, this one here. And there we go with just two for now, I think. There's nitre. I've not got loads of it. I don't know what else you use it for, but you've not got a lot. Magna Crucible. So into Magna Crucible this up. I'm hoping that four's enough. It might not be. I just need a bucket full. Uh, and you'll see why a little bit later. So... Oh no, that's not going to do at all. So what I'll do is I'll go and get some, or I'll go and make some more. Keep this going. I also need to drain this as well, so I could do with uh, obviously taking that off. But there we go, I got that. So I'll get onto this, guys, and then I'll catch up with you. All right. So now we've got enough. So if we just shove in the bucket in here, what we'll get is a nice a bucket of jellied cryophium, which don't ask me what that is. Um, we're also going to get some lava as well. So actually, lava's over here. There we go. Um, also, yeah, I've got so much like obsidian now. Uh, I don't think I need any more. I basically went to the Never and just filled up a load of those, and that was it. Like done. So if I go through minus floors, uh, I'll just very quickly as we're going down. This is my auto farm now. It's just a wheat farm. Uh, also sludge. Oh my god. Yeah. So as soon as I finished episode four, last episode, um, I think it's like episode four. Whatever the last episode was, um, I instantly looked up sludge because it was really annoying me that I didn't know. Um, turns out it's poisonous. Um, I've got that piping into a sludge boiler, which is over here uh, in this back room. I'll probably get poisoned from this, but that's fine. So this is the sludge boiler. There we go. Um, that then turns basically uh, sludge, uses power as well, and that converts it into stuff. So I've got like dirt, I've got soul sand, I've got neverac mycelium. Um, it's also clay as well, so the clay actually goes all the way up to the top, same as the sand, as you can see. So those all go up to the top, but um, yeah, really, really cool. So there we go. So here we go. This is the thing. This is the thing that I wanted to use. So I'm going to have lava on one side. Pretty sure it's on... No, I think I'm going to have the lava on this side. I can't quite remember. So bear with. Put that on that side, and we put this jellied stuff on the other. Um, and then this, when it hits... There we go, I'll make obsidian. So we get two obsidian from this one, at least this time. Then what we can do is put in these. You'll notice that these then break blocks. Right? Now, one thing you will know... Really? Really? What do you mean that's going to go there? That's bizarre. No, I've not seen this happen. So, right, let's play, break this one. I hope this doesn't mean it's going to break every so often. It should go just to there. There we go. That's what should happen. So we get one cobblestone from it. And then apparently that one turns to cobblestone, which is very bizarre. Oh, no. Let me have a look at this. All right, so I figured it out. Rookie mistake from me. So I had eight blocks, which... Uh, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, and I was basically on here. You need nine. So we actually need nine blocks. So I'll put this back in here. We will then... Jump over here, we'll put that back in there. And uh, what we should get is, there we go, that'll pop off. And then we'll get those two, see how it's working. So you get one cobblestone, and we should also get an obsidian. Are you wondering, oh, right, okay, well, what are you going to use the obsidian for? Well, apparently you also randomly get um, 
Five blocks as well. So I'm gonna have to pipe this around and make sure we get it all right. You'll notice as well, I've given it its own power supply. I'm, I, I just have too much power. Um, honestly, that machine thing that I've built, um, I've not used up enough, like any more power than that. Uh, it's just absolutely crazy. So anyway, if we go upstairs, one thing I've forgotten is of course some pipes. Um, but before we do that, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I was going to show you show you what I was going to do. So this is what we're basically going to be doing. Obsidian has got a pretty high EMC value. It's actually got 64. So that means we can get iron out of that. So we can use Obsidian to get iron, uh, which is nice and easy. So if we've got more Obsidian, here we go, we've got loads. Um, so we put this in here. We get like that. Get more iron. More iron. You know, I think if we just go with two. Uh, then with the iron... We can get an enderpearl, which is a thousand, so actually I'm probably going to want a couple of those. Um, but what we'll actually do is from here, build another five of those. Yep. There we go. Oh, didn't need to do five at all. I think I just oh, I used up all those. We're going to make a block of iron. And I could probably make a couple blocks of iron. I'm actually going to just grab some of my iron ingots to make this easier and for demonstration purposes, of course. So if we now get these, and I can't remember how many blocks of iron we actually need, but it doesn't really matter that much. So there we go. If we put that in there. Let's have a look. So if we do this, it's probably going to be like four or something. All right, here we go. Let's just let's just do that. Let's just get loads of them, just in case it's more than that. Um, so if we now use this with this, there we go. So a whole little stack of them gets a gold block, which is eighteen thousand. That's crazy. That's a crazy amount of it. I notice we've used up a hell of a lot of iron to do that. So again, let's go and get another couple stacks because, well, we're going to be able to make iron, so it doesn't really matter if we're <laughs> using up a lot of them. So there we go. Put that in there. Leave that down the bottom. Shuffle this into the bench so we can all use it and just grab everything. There we go. So what we can now do is make a load of gold blocks, right? Now you might be thinking, ah, oh, okay, cool. I kind of, I might see where you're going. Um, and I think it's four gold blocks. There we go. Fold four gold blocks makes a block of diamond. So that's what we're going to be getting, which is pretty damn cool. So we need something initially in order to convert the um, obsidian into um, iron. And we got to have another machine that turns the iron ingots into an iron block. Uh, and then we need another stone, which turns the iron blocks into gold blocks and then from there gold blocks into diamond blocks and then we can pipe that into our nice system and we could probably just you know leave them as diamond blocks really I mean I've just got nine diamonds so oh my god don't throw that um, so that's already just gonna like help but that's the idea of it okay so it's it's been able to um, equivalently exchange things upwards and make gigantic diamond blocks and of course we can go back as well that's the other thing about this so we can go back so you'll notice that I spent eight diamonds on this stone. I've got nine diamonds, so we're, you're always going to be in production as such. There you go, you can see you can make uh, blocks of gold from that and you can go backwards. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to be setting up a nice system. So we're going to need a couple things from thermal expansion. So let me get all the materials ready for that and we'll get on. Alrighty then, so um, my great game has just crashed and it's taken me a little while to figure out why. So I'll explain what you need to do to fix it if you do come across this. Um, so if you are trying to build a schematic in a machinist workbench, you actually get a crash from Simply Jetpacks if you've got the default, um, basically if you've got everything default loaded um, from Tekkit Main. So what you need to do is you need to go on to Simply Jetpacks uh, Forge site and actually uh, pull in the newest 1.6.4 uh, version of the mod. So I think the one that's on this is like 0.1.3 or something and there's like one that's like 3 point something. Um, that seems to fix it, but that's the reason it is after digging around in the log. So we can now actually at least get on to building these um, things. That was just really crazy. Um, so, minium stone. I'm going to put that in there. We're going to put these in here. That will give us an iron ingot, so we want to write that schematic. There we go, that's that one there. Done. Cool. So the next one, we've got the minium sto stone still. Uh, what we're going to do now is actually not do that. have another one where we from the iron that we get out of that one, we get an iron blo uh, block of iron even. So there we go, write the schematic for that one. That's the next one. The next one after that is to convert these iron blocks. Which we are going to need an actual iron block for this. Can I, can I make that? 
There we go. Let's make an iron block quickly. There you go. Um, so the next one is going to be to convert these iron blocks. Should we put a blank square skin? I must have done. Um, convert these into a gold block. So how many iron blocks I need? I don't really know. All of them. Okay, basically all of them. Uh, so we'll get a gold block. So write that schematic. Got that one now. And then after that, we're going to need a gold block. So let's just go into this. Make our block of gold. Now we're going to need some of this stuff. So then from here, just four of them. It's going to make uh, a diamond block. So that is the last schematic. So we need three stones, which is exactly what we got. So we're going to write schematic for that. There we go. Got that. So we can now just clear this down uh, and leave that, but that will then give us everything. I like how when you press shift, you can see what they actually make. That's really quite cool. Uh, right. So we've got the site click uh, assemblers. And we've got everything else we need. Let's head down to this layer um, and get this all set up. So what I've done is there you go, actually sorted these. Well, I've just got them currently going to a chest. I was getting fed up with everything getting spat out. Um, so yeah, it's just a temporary type thing. But it will do for now. Uh, if we just disconnect it from... Oh, we can't disconnect from there, can we? Hmm. Don't know how we're going to disconnect it from these two. I guess we're just going to have to control it via... Um, one of the pneumatic Dubery Wattsits. So let's go and get one of those. I've actually got a couple built at the top here. I've already got everything else. So where's the pneumatic? I know I made some. There we go. That's the one. Pneumatic Dubery Wattsit. Grab that. And we'll pipe the other stuff into the system so we can actually get uh, the cobblestone will just go through. So what we'll I end up having, and I'm going to have to power this as well. So we have it on here. This can go to there. We can actually have it going around this way. Yeah, really simple. I can actually have that. Put a pneumatic doobry. What's it on there? Put that on there. Do a whitelist and only have uh, obsidian go into this one. Now I'm hoping... That's, there we go, that's now working, okay. So that's got that in there. This will then do this uh, iron ingot type thing. We'll put that in there. So I'm hoping that then, ah, we need power, that's why. So that will need to get some power, that's fine. We got some redstone things. So do we need to do anything else here? I'm guessing we don't at a minute, because that's all worked. So that's got that there, that's there. Let's, for the time being, actually quickly, I like that schematic thing. actually, I don't know. Never mind, I have no idea what that does. So that's the one we want anyway in there. Um, what we'll do is let's just join this up. So we'll put that onto the top. There we go, that's actually making it. That's good. So we can also grab all of that and just shove this into here for now. Look at that, that's making loads of them. At some point, we're going to have to figure out a way to replace these so it just pops one of them in. But um, for the time being, that'll do. As long as we have that, so that's already given us a nice stack. That's pretty good. Uh, in terms of this, we're not going to have anything from the top, nothing from the side. Output is going to be there, and the back is where we're going to be having the uh, kind of like entrance bit from it. So this will probably now go into here. There we go. So we get iron in there. This one then I'll do the iron block part of it. And again, what we'll do this time we're going to have an entrance on this side, and then the exit on this side. So a little bit different. And then this one. Entrance there, exit there. Let's just get rid of that one. Put that behind that though. And we can have obviously make this look look like way tidier. It's a bit messy at the minute. So that was that one. Iron block. Iron block to block gold, which we need a minimum stone for. Then we got this one. Like that. And this one's gonna have uh, this is the diamond block one. And again another minimum stone. Does this create sludge as well? I don't know, it looks like it needs something. Uh, unless we, you can pipe water into it, I guess. I guess that's what it's all about. So then we'll have this. All getting powered. So now what we've got. So that's all gone now. So that goes into there. That will then fill up. That will then go into there. Uh, I don't know if we can just... Yep, that does. That works. That then goes into here, which I'm guessing has already made some gold, maybe. Maybe? <laughs> it's quite interesting. Oh look, we got a block of diamond out as well. That's good. Cool. So then from there, what we want to do is actually have an item duct. Uh, 
where we're going to pipe this. We're going to pipe this up just to the top, really. And at the minute, I know where that's going to go. It's going to go into the wrong place, but for the time being, it'll do. And we'll just do that. There we go. So that should then... That'll pipe it out. It'll actually go all the way over here for the time being into these ones. I need to sort these ones out, really. Because uh, I'm getting like stuff like cobblestone in here and dirt and everything. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sort out my uh, machines a little bit better uh, or properly from there. For the time being, it'll do. So if we just put that in there, i will do. There we go. And then we should have pretty much infinite diamonds. It is going to start costing us quite a few of these minium stones, but uh, for the time being, it'll do. Uh, so let's just disconnect this. And then what I'm going to do here, I need to make sure that... Well, that's always going to be the smallest. It's always going to be the, the shortest distance for any obsidian coming into the system, which is exactly what we want. Um, and I'm hoping that machine has got enough power. Yeah, it's fine. So all this does as well, because I think what I did with this one... No, I did actually power it into this, so that's actually got enough power, which is good. And fluid duct. Cool. Okay, so let's just connect this up. Oops. Oh, that's in the right place. There we go. So at least that... At least that now, the cobblestone will go into the system. I need to figure out a way to... or something to do with my cobblestone at some point, but for the time being, that will do. Cool. So there we go, that is our diamond machine now. Pretty funky, pretty cool. Um, yeah, definitely pretty cool actually. So to make our diamonds, and I'm guessing make quite a few blocks of diamonds out of this. There we go, look at that, block of diamond. So I'll sort out like a good uh, place upstairs to put that. So, and I'll also obviously close up this nice room as well. I don't think it needs to be as big as I've made it. Uh, so I think I'll make it quite a bit smaller. Um, potentially even just actually have the wall here, I think, instead. And we'll just like wall that up because that'll work quite nicely. Um, but yeah, infinite diamonds maybe. And every so often I'll just have to replace those minium stones at the moment. Um, oh yeah, because that one doesn't have minium stone. These ones are all fine, so it's really just that first one. Then maybe I could build a couple minium stones and just dump them in. Um, I expect that'll work quite well. So, in terms of a tour, actually, guys, uh, for everybody that's actually stuck with me, uh, now that we've got diamonds, also I've got a diamond halberd, um, I just had to make, give it a go. Uh, what we have is all of the kind of like stairway, that goes all the way up, this middle bit goes all the way down, obviously, we've got all these connected up now. We have redstone energy cells, I can't remember if that's been shown before. Even got a fluid duct as well, which apparently I didn't, I think I probably ran out of materials for that, actually, so it's not important at the minute. Um, yeah, so we've got down in the mine, there is actually a chest which I can pipe stuff up as well. So that's now getting piped into the system. Um, if I show you guys on the, what's on the ground floor, anything new on the ground floor? No, just more machines really. I've got a problem at the minute where these ones get full uh, and then these ones don't. So I'm not really too sure why. So every so often I come in here and just grab some of this and, uh, and dump it really. Um, I don't really need to. I've got way more power than... Uh, I can use, but I need to figure out what's going wrong with that, really, because it, it's just a bit bit weird. Uh, it's either that or I just don't have the extra wood going anywhere, and it just they just get stuffed into pipes. I'm not really too sure. Um, so, yeah, apart from that, this is all working quite nicely. The sludge machine's working quite nicely. We've got the farm. Uh, nothing else around the back here. Obviously, we've got the two stairways, so we can actually go up this one. Um, so, we've got up here. Uh, this one that just goes into the back of the storage area. Yes, the storage area. Um, this is all looking pretty good now, so we've got uh, a lot of these item ducts going in. I'm going to continue this even with ME Networks to, uh, well, for the simple reason that there's some stuff like uh, wheat and bread and things like that. I, I don't really want to craft bread or, from wheat um, automatically, it just doesn't see much point. And there's some stuff like cocoa beans that, you know, are just, just there. Um, apples, we've got a ton of those. I could probably do with doing a bio biofuel uh, debris what's it uh, also what I've got since the last episode or the last little bit of the episode is I've sorted out some chests in here for all of these and even cooler finally got around to doing this um, I don't know why I decided to just do it I just did it one evening um, I've set up some more machines as well so machine wise what we've got now is at the top it's really difficult I can hardly like get up there anymore. Um, I don't want to use a diamond block because I haven't really got anything to break it. Um, what we've got up here, anyway, there we go, is each of these, it's just for thermal expansion at the minute, but uh, each of the ores are whitelisted, so they've got their own pulverizer, 
and they've also got their own furnace so then that goes into there the only problem that I've got with it at the minute is that I've just gone with a red um, kind of like one red output um, I should probably go for that to be orange I think it is I think if you do orange yeah it goes does, does both so um, I'm probably gonna just switch all those over um, so that you get like the extra bits of stuff in there but yeah that at the minute is pretty nifty um, and that just does all of my ore for the time being it's pretty good there you go I'll switch all those then that goes back into the system so ores come in and ingots come out and they all go into the same pipe and go off and it's quite cool so that's this kind of layer um, obviously I haven't really sorted out this room yet like what I'm gonna do with it and everything so and also I need to deassemble everything there uh, additional changes are just that I've moved the machines from uh, well, they were back over there I've moved them into here so I'm gonna have like a little room just for uh, my thermal expansion kind of stuff so I'm, I'm probably gonna I was like playing around with these pillars and then I'm like actually a, there's not that many machines in it so I, I think I'll do for now so we've got like that and oh, that's lovely this guy um, Apart from that, I don't think there's much else in the tour. Got some sewage, lovely. Um, apart from you know stuff at the back around here. Yep, good old never. Um, and then this staircase goes around underneath. Uh, I've expanded the water type layer thing. I don't know what you want to call it. I got on this. I'm still keeping this. I was I was thinking about getting rid of it, and then I was actually like, I can just kind of sit here and head down. Um, yeah, over here I've just expanded like the glass big mine shaft thing. Um, but yeah, I was thinking about definitely for for uh, starting to hollow out that mountain uh, as I go along because that'd be pretty good. I hope there's no animals around except for that one. Um, so yeah, just like expanding into that because that's got nothing there at the minute. So I could do a digging down, uh, and I thought it'd be quite cool to actually have some rooms down here. Especially where we've actually got the glass on the edge of this like lake, but under underwater. I thought that'd be pretty cool. But it is expanding and looking quite good. So guys, anyway, we need to get onto like either ME networks or we need to get onto quarry type stuff. Um, I'm not too sure at the minute, but if you guys have any preference at all, then let me know. In the meantime, I'm just going to be you know expanding this uh, the base, uh, some of the automation that we've got, and especially with the storage, like stuff like dirt and all that kind of stuff, I can have go in um, and just just goes into a place somewhere because uh, at the minute it just all gets well cobblestone galore really uh, but cobble everywhere there's cobble wool uh, I can do with more well couldn't do with more sores for cobblestone but uh, maybe I could I don't know give me give me a shout what you guys think anyway and how you're enjoying this series I'm loving it um, it's quite good except for that bug that I just can't came across that was really annoying really frustrating but uh, hopefully it wasn't too bad for you guys and I've also got yeah ender pearls now so uh, via the minimum stone, so it's time to start upgrading my power cells for anything that's high power. I'm probably not going to do it for these because I haven't even got anything plugged in, so that doesn't really make any sense. Um, God, I'm getting a lot of coal stone. That's quite worrying. Hmm. I'm going to have to do something about that. I'm going to have to do something with it. Maybe I just use the excess power to generate lava. And that lava does something. It just goes into a store somewhere. Who knows? Anyway guys, thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed, um, comment, like and subscribe as always, and I'll see you on the next one.